James Orchestra is hosting a special night of music that's shooting for the moon. And Mark Armstrong, the youngest son of Janet and Neil Armstrong, will perform with the orchestra tomorrow night at Music Hall. But first, the accomplished trumpet player is our guest. Mark Armstrong, thanks for coming in this morning. It's great to see you. Oh, thank you very much. Good to be here. So, um, you know, I knew that you were an engineer like your dad, and uh, but I had no idea you were a musician. Tell me a little bit about your your musical endeavors. Well, uh, really, I'm a vocalist. Okay. Um, uh, so, so I am going to sing a few songs with uh, with Fred Radke, who's this uh, very famous trumpeter and the band leader of the Harry James Orchestra. And, we both know each other from the Museum of Flight, a, uh, a very prestigious museum in Seattle. Okay. I serve on the board, and and Fred is a has been a supporter uh, for years and years. Of, so of you the you you share this love of music and aerospace. How did That's you? Right. Yeah. How did you tell me about that first meeting and how you sort of came together and decided to well, perform? Well, when, when I joined the board, um, you know, Fred was uh, was a friend of. A number of other board members and he had been playing in their events and things like that for years uh, and, a, and a, just a big supporter of the museum so we got to know each other through mutual friends and mm -hmm. and uh, he's a great guy and I just love him. Well it's you're gonna sing Fly Me to the Moon obviously I right? I'm gonna sing Fly Me to the Moon <laughs> and, and another <laughs> song called Destination Moon mm -hmm. which is uh, actually also the the name of the traveling exhibit uh, that has been going out uh, around to several cities around the United States and is currently in Seattle and has the uh, Apollo 11 Columbia uh, spacecraft. Okay, well, so I have to ask you, and, and it's a fundraiser for WMKV Radio, That's the right. show tomorrow night, yeah. which is wonderful. And people, you know, love to listen to that radio station for, for that type of music. How did you become interested in that era of music? Well, I've, I've been interested in all music yeah. from all eras, okay. really. So it's just, uh, it's just one of the things that I've I've, uh, that I love to do, and I just love to sing uh, uh, all, all eras. Was that something that your parents kind of um, helped you with, with studying well, music and both inspired? my parents liked, uh, you know, that era music, uh, mm -hmm. big band music, and, um, and they both liked to sing as well. So I picked up a natural uh, <laughs> musicality from, from both of them. So do you, um, do you, I know that you worked on the movie, First Man. That's right. Um, about your dad. Um, are there things that you do to try to c sort of keep his legacy uh, alive and intact? And tell me a little bit about your efforts in that regard. Well, yeah, uh, you know, the being on the on the board of the Museum of Flight is one example. I'm also mm -hmm. on the board here locally of the uh, Cincinnati Observatory. Okay. Uh, so there's a and there's a science element to those as well as an, a STEM education element, which is something I'm, I'm very supportive of. And my wife and I also support the uh, the museum in Wapakoneta, the Armstrong Air and Space Museum, mm -hmm. as well as uh, a number of uh, uh, local Cincinnati charities like Artworks and the uh, Cincinnati Ensemble Theater and things like that. Well, with the speed of technology these days and 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 how far we've come, I mean, you know, everything is on these and everything yeah. is instantaneous. What would your dad think about that? Well, I, I he definitely saw it all coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Um, I think he was he was you know thrilled with the technological changes and he always it was part of his job part part of his DNA to embrace those changes as they came along and that that's part of what being a test pilot is you're yeah. you're constantly getting new innovations and you're trying them out and you're reporting back to to the engineers that are creating that technology to say yeah that's working well or it's not working well and mm -hmm. here's what I would suggest that you do to change it so he, he was that was part of uh, who he was so give me just a small taste of what people are going to see tomorrow night if they come out to the music hall ballroom oh well you're, you're going to see uh, amazing amazing uh, brass band uh, in the Harry James Orchestra Fred is is an incredible uh, trumpet player and uh, and you're going to see a lot of dancing because oh, that's everybody that comes out is swing dancing and oh, uh, they're all very awesome. good so uh, you could just come and watch them and, and be and be well entertained. <laughs> Very good. Well, we'll put the information on our website uh, for the show tomorrow night. But Mark Armstrong, it was so nice to talk to you today. Very nice. Thank to talk you to you very as well. much. Thank you. And we'll be right back.